What's up everybody, welcome back. Today's going to be a different episode. If you saw over the past couple of weeks, we unboxed our Park Tool bike repair stand and we also did an unboxing of my trailer hitch bike rack. And I'm having fun doing these types of videos. And as you can see from my new garage, from my new house that we did purchase, if you saw it in the last couple of videos, I've been talking about it because there's a lot going on. Um, I started redoing the whole entire garage. I painted the walls, I painted the floors, I built a couple of workbenches. And I have uh, some scrap wood today, and we're going to, one, test out my brand new table saw. I'm very excited for that. And two, we're gonna build a gear station. The gear station is going to carry my helmets. It's gonna have um, a milk crate. It's gonna have all of my extra stuff, knee pads, goggles, gloves, everything's gonna be in there. Uh, camel bags will be hit, um, hung from it. And um, it's pretty much gonna have everything that uh, I need. Uh, for mountain biking. Now the hardest part of this whole entire video was actually trying to come up with something that nobody else came up with because let's face it, Seth's Bike Hacks came up with their gear, his gear station and it was absolutely phenomenal. It took me hours just to get my head away from his idea to come up with my own idea. And, and in the end, I really didn't want to come up with a different idea because his was so perfect. It was flawless. There was really no issues with it. Um, but I ended up sitting down and I wrote down everything that I wanted to put on it and I wrote down everything that I had and, and how much room and space I had and I came up with a pretty good idea. Um, I'm not going to show my drawings because it's absolutely horrible and you guys are definitely going to laugh at that. Um, you guys might laugh at the whole video anyway because today we're using scrap pieces of wood. That's right. So I have all this extra wood from other projects and I think I have enough to make this happen. Um, so I, I don't know if this video is going to come out as I'm making it because uh, I can only hope that the measurements that I took are kind of okay and that um, we can actually finish this. So um, I guess we're really just going to get right into it. It's... We are starting with cutting the sides of the shelf. Each of these pieces of wood were found in an old cabinet that I took apart and decided that I could later use these for a project similar to this one. Both of these pieces of wood, as you can tell, are completely different and this one even has some stain on it. I left each board a little bit longer so that I could come back and make sure that I can square up each piece to make sure that they are exactly the same. I do want to ensure you that I am not a professional by any means, so some of my techniques might not be the preferred method. After ensuring that the width was the same on each piece, I measured the best possible length given the supply of wood available as well as the location of where this gear station was going to be. The next piece to be cut was the shelves. Each piece was cut from one piece of scrap wood, and like the others, this one was also previously a shelf inside a cabinet. And here I am in the background, doubting my measurements like usual, double checking the space for my helmets to make sure that everything fits right. All right guys, so we got a lot of the cuts done already. I had to adjust my shelf the way I wanted to set it up, but it's still gonna work out. So we have our cuts right here. This is going to be the size of the shelf itself where the helmets will sit on it. It's gonna be my helmet, my wife's helmet. So this will be pretty much the size of the shelf right here, and then there'll be another shelf right on top of it. I've become a huge fan of pocket hole joints. Besides hiding screws, they're actually 35% stronger than mortise or tenon joints. After aligning all of my cuts, I used these three foot clamps to hold everything together while I drilled screws into all of the pocket holes. Yeah, just a small little test to make sure that my measurements were correct and everything does fit the way it's supposed to. With a little bit of help from my lovely wife, we hung this shelving unit for the gear station. As you can tell, the wall was previously painted, but only where the gear station was going to be installed. This was my fault for letting other projects overlap each other. And here I came to the rescue of my wonderful dog that had a bug somewhere in his fur on his tail. It was one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. And here I'm cutting the other support for the other side of the shelving unit. I decided to cut this on a little bit of an angle to give the shelf just a little bit of character. Here I decided to drill a 2x4 into the stud and then drill my upright to the 2x4. The reason being that the scrap wood that the upright is made from is not wide enough. I ran out of plywood but had plenty of 2x4s, so I decided that the top shelf was going to be made out of 4 pieces of 2x4s measuring right around 53 inches long. Plenty of room for a milk crate, full face helmet, and my mountain bike shoes. I'm pretty sure my wife will find other things to add as well. Alright guys, so we are finally done with the gear station. It took a little while. We did the paint, we put up some hooks, we have all of our stuff here now. I just got back from Powder Ridge 
and um, I was letting things dry for almost a whole day because it's been very humid, so the paint was taking a long time to dry. But as soon as I got home, I emptied my car, everything went up on the wall, bike went to where the bike goes, everything had its spot, uh, a, a thing for everything and everything in its place. I think that's how it goes, or something like that. Um, but yes, it's, I absolutely love it. I can't complain about it. It's a, it came out really great. I like the way the black looks. Um, I put these hooks in right here um, just to hold camel bags. At some point, this might change, but for now, it's gonna be perfect. And this is gonna be the bullpen right here. Coming up in the next couple weeks, we're gonna talk about a sweet bike storage thing that I, I saw on Pinterest and I kind of modified it for what I wanted. And it's gonna go right down there in the corner so that my bike or my wife's bike and my bike are gonna be right here, easy and accessible. Grab the bike, throw it on the car. I'm trying to do everything um, that, that I can to make it easier to get in and out of the house so that I can get on the trail as fast as possible. And coming home from the bike park, you guys know every time you go to a bike park, it's tiring. At the end of the day, you just all you wanna do is just sit on the couch, cool down, stay in the AC, relax the body. I'm in my 30s, so I'm starting to feel uh, a little bit of pain here and there. Um, but it's, it's easy to get out of the car, put everything where it goes, and just, it's, look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. We have my wife's helmet, my helmet, a milk crate that's got my knee pads and my gloves and my chain that I wrap my bike up with while I'm driving with it, my full face helmet, my GoPro storage. So everything that's in that waterproof container has to do with my GoPro, whether it's memory cards or batteries or anything, it's all in that container. So I'll leave that in here. And when I needed to go edit, I'll go bring it into the house where I edit my videos at. But I mean, it's, look at it, it's amazing. It's beautiful and everything we did was made from scrap wood. We already had the screws, we had everything, even these little hooks. I found these four hooks in one of my containers. I already had them. So this whole entire thing cost me zero dollars, absolutely nothing. It was like everything was made from scrap. I was so excited when I saw this thing in the end and I doubted it. Honestly, I doubted it the whole entire time. I'm making it and you're like, well, we gotta cut a corner here. We gotta make it shorter. We gotta make it longer. Is the shelf gonna look right? Is it gonna be too heavy? Am I gonna hit a stud? So many things are going through my head, but in the end, it came out good. I like it. I hope you guys like it. Um, I was gonna leave measurements down below, but I kind of, I don't have the exact measurements that I wanna hand out and let people, you know, use those measurements because it might not work for what you have, but at least you have the idea of the shelf. That way you can take your material, you can take your helmets, you can take, maybe you have more helmets. Maybe you wanna have, instead of two shelves, you wanna have four, or you wanna have six, or maybe you wanna have your shelves up on top. I just wanted to show you guys what I needed, what worked for me, and hopefully you guys can use this to build something that actually works for you, and share it, because if you type in gear stations on YouTube, barely anything shows up. And there's nothing that's really different, you know, so that's what this is. And I hope that it'll inspire you guys to do something different as well. Um, I guess that's it. If you made it this far, thank you very much for walking. Walk, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. If you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.